More than five of her relatives have died of this serious disease, and now my guests think she's following in their footsteps. Is a fatal disease in her destiny? Take a look. My life is a ticking time bomb because of my family's history with heart disease. My dad had his first heart attack at age 30. I am constantly worrying about dying of a massive heart attack. My dad died of a heart attack at 61. My great-grandmother, Alice, she died at age 28. My grandfather, Henry, died at age 35. Both my great uncles, Alfred and Herman, died of massive heart attacks. And my Aunt Billy struggles with congestive heart failure even today. I'm starting to experience the same symptoms that my dad suffered from. I've been having moments where my heart starts to suddenly pound. One time, I started to get really dizzy and felt sick, and my chest started to get really, really tight. I even have issues with something as simple as going up a flight of stairs, and it scares me. I suffer from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and I'm overweight. My doctor told me to lose weight, and I didn't lose the weight, so I didn't go back because I'm embarrassed. I don't have the best diet, and my eating is out of control. I hide it from my fiance. I hide it from my mom. I hide it from all of them. I'm supposed to be on blood pressure and cholesterol medicine, but I don't take them. I feel it's coming for me, and I fear that I'll end up dead in the next few years if I don't change my ways. If I wasn't here for my boys, that'd be a really sad life for them. Well, Chrissy is joining us along with our good friend, Dr. Frida Lewis-Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. We just love it when you come. You always bring <laughs> such good information. Well, so thank you. Welcome for being I just here. love being here. Um, when we're born, we don't always know what we'll inherit from our family. And Chrissy, why are you dreading your next birthday? I'm dreading my next birthday because my dad had his first massive heart attack at age 30. And I turned 30 in a few months. So, Dr. Frieda, does a family history of heart disease mean the whole family will have it? You have the risk factors, and some of them are inherited. But the idea is you now know that you're at risk. You can understand those risks, put a plan together, and manage those risks. So it's not automatic. Okay, but why are you avoiding the doctor? Mainly out of embarrassment. The thing that will keep you consistent is accountability. And when you erase the accountability by erasing the appointment out of your calendar book, that makes it easier for you to not be compliant. If they have a long history of heart disease in their family, I mean, what, what, what can they do? Okay, so for starters, back into partnership with a solid healthcare team. It, it's really a must. The second thing that's gonna happen is to understand the, the family history. And then um, thirdly, the doctor may do a genetic test to see if you are at increased risk for some genetic predispositions. And then we'll say, okay, here are all the risks. What are the things we need to do to manage the risks? And that'll be the plan that you'll then be accountable for working with your team to move forward with. So what's your biggest issue with all of this? My biggest issue is that I spend 90% of my day just thinking that I'm gonna die and have a heart attack. And the fear in that is that I'm gonna leave two really beautiful boys. And um, I just need to know how to stop overthinking that all the time. Well, I'm not sure that you, that you wanna stop overthinking it. It's like waiting for lightning to strike. It's like you're telling yourself, it's going to strike, I just don't know when. That's how I feel. Exactly, but the whole thing is, if you do some things that empower you, where you don't feel like it's necessarily going to strike, you can lower the risk, you can lower the likelihood that this is going to happen. That's exactly right. So now you know the risk, you have a plan, you get to choose, okay, what is the healthy food choice that I can make right now? What can I do this afternoon to increase my physical activity so I'm more fit? Most people do not realize this, but very small positive changes in your lifestyle over time accumulate into really meaningful reductions in risk and allow you to avoid those catastrophic events. Because risk is not destiny unless you let it be. Yeah. I just feel like they deserve to have a mom that's here because I miss my dad. My dad was a real strong man and he was just gone in an instant. The important thing is 
ask yourself, are you doing everything I can to minimize the risk? And the answer is no, right? I'm not. I'm so not. So get on a program. Where do I start? Right. And what are the steps? Well, gethealthystayhealthy.com gives you those steps. It tells you, you know, here's where to start. Here are the things you can do. So get active and don't erase that out of your book. Go to the doctor. All right. Well, listen, we gotta, we've got to go, but... Uh, there's good information on the website, right? Yes, there's, um, there's so much to learn about getting heart healthy and staying heart healthy, and much of that is on gethealthystayhealthy.com. Uh, I want to thank all of my guests today, especially Dr. Frieda Lewis-Hall.